What's going on guys, JQ with Tech Creation. Now this is the first time I've ever owned a product from Logitech's Harmony line, specifically its most recent one, the Harmony Elite. And let me just say, I'm glad I did. So let's start with the design and then we'll talk about what this thing can actually do. The Harmony Elite features a sleek glossy finish that leaves behind smudges and it's combined with a non-slip coating on the back that not only looks good, but it fits remarkably comfortable in the hand. It matches well with its charging dock that plugs up via micro USB and it holds it in place perfectly with a velvet-like padding in the interior. The remote features a 2.4 inch touchscreen that's responsive and has a generous amount of haptic feedback which you can toggle on or off in the settings. The screen's resolution isn't the highest but that's good since it doesn't consume too much power. Especially because the screen only turns on when it detects motion. You can expect a couple days to a week per charge. Lastly, you have the Harmony Hub, which is the brains of the operation, and two IR extenders that we'll go over later. So to set up the Elite, you download the Harmony app on Android or iOS to connect the Harmony Hub via Bluetooth for the initial setup only. Alternatively, you can use your PC or Mac by visiting myharmony.com and plugging it directly via the micro USB port. The only caveat, you do have to create an account, which I'm not really a big fan of when it comes to new products, but good thing it only really took 30 seconds. So you complete the simple steps to proceed in connecting the hub to your home's Wi-Fi network. And from here on in, all the configurations are managed from the Harmony app itself, which are then synced up in real time to the Harmony Elite. The great thing about this is if your remote is out of reach or you're just feeling lazy, you have all the controls on the app instead. One of the benefits of doing this is if you're away from home, the app automatically connects to the hub via the Harmony cloud when you're on a data connection. That's a huge plus in my book, but actual results will vary based on your carrier signal and its performance. So the Elite works by sending commands to the hub via an RF signal, aka radio frequency. Those commands are then transmitted from the hub and communicate to your devices at home via an infrared, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi signal, depending on what signal your device requires. So your cable, television, DVR, etc. all use an infrared signal whereas controlling your PlayStation requires Bluetooth. It's worth noting though that the Elite has its own IR blaster on the back, which you can ingeniously pick and choose in the settings which infrared devices will use this one as opposed to the signal that comes from the hub itself, which definitely comes in handy if your hub happens to be obstructed or it's placed in another room. What also comes in handy are these two additional IR extenders that plug in through the back and are generously long for maximum flexibility and visibility to communicate with your units. Now you can mess around with the angles and placement, but I advise you want to face these in the direction of your appliances for the best performance. From my experience, I found these to work just fine when placing a direct line of sight from a pretty great distance, I would say around 30 feet or so. To add a device, you can select a connected Wi-Fi product from the preloaded list, like the popular Nest thermostat, Philips and LifeX smart bulbs, or just enter the make and model of the appliance that you own, and the Elite does a great job of fetching it quick. You can configure up to 15 devices at a time, and Logitech says it supports somewhere in the ballpark of 250,000 appliances, and that includes Blu-ray players, gaming consoles, televisions, Apple TV, or even your Mac or PC. I mean, let's be real, this thing even supports my electric fireplace with heating and flame controls. Now, I picked up all of my Philips Hue bulbs in a breeze with full access to color controls and brightness within the app. Again, another plus. And once you've added your device, you can add them to an activity. Now, an activity is basically like a profile where you can add multiple devices to a scene that when triggered, they all respond simultaneously. For example, I made a Netflix and chill activity. So when I run it, the fireplace, my Philips Hue lights, the television, and my LG soundbar all turn on one by one. Now you can set rules for these activities and have it run only at a certain time of the day. And furthermore, you can control the input in which your device starts up in. So in this activity, I wanted my soundbar to turn on and go straight to the optical input. And it does this by sending two individual IR signals back to back. You can increase the delay in between your signals being fired for an activity, and you can even lock your settings from being altered in case you happen to have kids around, since it is touchscreen after all. Now one of my favorite features about the Elite is gestures. So within a particular activity, you can tap up top to bring up gestures that are available under that activity. So for example, if the activity includes television, by swiping up or down, it will adjust the volume and tapping and holding will mute it. Now you can also customize the buttons with button mapping. So say you want to assign these buttons to a particular action. 
Well, you hop into the edit device settings and select your buttons you want to map to a desired command. So I conveniently assigned the bulb buttons to control my individual lamps and you can assign whatever you want to the other two outlet buttons. Anything and everything is customizable with this remote from button mapping, gestures, timed activities, you get the point. And with support for third-party integration with other home automation products like Samsung SmartThings, the combinations you can render become endless. So now on to the deal breaker, the pricing. So this is gonna run you a whopping $350. Who is this for? Well, if you have more than three remotes in the house, a couple of gaming consoles, and you're looking to upgrade your home and add some more connected devices like the Philips Hue smart bulbs or maybe an Apple TV or Roku, then this might be worth the investment. But if you only have like two remotes, maybe two TVs, and you don't, you're not really into all that customization and home automation, obviously this would not be up your alley and you might want to consider a cheaper universal remote that's out there on the market. But for me, I think this is worth every penny. I still have a whole bunch of combinations I want to try out and just some more testing I want to try with different products. I'm sure you know someone in your family or your circle of friends who definitely needs something like this in their life. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you think this is just way too overpriced or are you going to consider picking up one yourself? As always, I drop a link below in the description in case any of you happen to be interested. If you enjoyed this video, show some love to that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for some awesome tech videos every week. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.